Morning for you right now at noon, Governor DeSantis making an environmental announcement on this Earth Day all about the Everglades. He just spoke in Wellington. That's where we find local 10 news reporter Madeline Wright live with the details. Madeline. Alexis Christie, there are two big environmental problems that have been plaguing Florida for years, and they've been having a really negative impact on our wildlife, like this alligator here in Wellington, where today the state and the federal government signed a $3.4 billion agreement to begin the second phase of a project that aims to solve both problems. And officials picked Earth Day to make the announcement. Take a look at this map. Lake Okeechobee is at the top. When the lake's water level gets too high, it threatens to flood nearby homes. So the South Florida Water Management District flushes the excess water to the St. Lucie and Caloosahatchee estuaries. The problem with that is it disrupts the ecosystem and it causes fish kills and algae blooms. Instead of sending the harmful water east and west of the lake, the water will first be cleaned and then diverted south to Florida Bay, which is in between the Keys and the mainland. The freshwater injection will balance the salinity level of the bay, which right now has too much salt water. A year ago, the state started building the stormwater treatment area in the middle of the Everglades where the water will be cleaned. The federal government has pledged to build the reservoir next to the treatment area so the clean water can be stored until it's needed. Today's agreement allows the Army Corps of Engineers to begin construction on that reservoir. A healthy Everglades ecosystem equals very clearly prosperity and economic well-being for all Floridians. Back live on the edge of the Everglades, you see that alligator swimming peacefully next to this tall grass. Now construction on the reservoir is expected to begin next year, according to the governor. Live in Wellington, Madeline Wright, Local 10 News.